I, I said this before to you. Three hundred thousand views. You are. I work this out. You are the third most watched personality on uh, really? my show. Yes, three hundred thousand total views, which I think is very impressive because uh, the only people who beat you were Doctor Tom Pritchard, and we did That's like a so three. Bad. We did a three-hour interview, so that doesn't count. And the only other one is of all people, the Godfather. Really? Well, he's inter- he's entertaining. Mm. I'm sure you've sent him a couple of times in Wrestler's Court as well. Well, I, I, bu- I booked him in Memphis. He was, uh, what did we bring him in as? Here's an interesting story about Godfather. I think he was from Minneapolis, I think, up somewhere. And he went to the matches one night when Bruiser Brody was there. And as Bruiser, Bruiser Brody was going back after the match, him and Godfather got in like hollering at each other. And he he punched Brody and he got in a fight with Brody and him and they had to pull him and Brody apart. You ever hear that story? I've never heard of that story, no. What was it about? Oh yeah. It doesn't matter. He just says, I think Godfather said, I just wanted to get noticed. He said, What's the best way to get noticed? And he was a big guy too. Hmm. What a way to get noticed is, you know, getting a fight with one of their big guys. And he did. And they pulled him apart. Of course, you know, Charles, he, he don't care anyway. You know, he was a bouncer in Vegas and you're doing all this stuff. And I, I think he's still out in Vegas. I think he's running a bar out there. I think he likes Vegas. But I brought him to Memphis and I heard all these stories. And very a good guy. Really good guy. Yeah. Uh, and he was a great guy to interview as well. I've, uh, so you don't know what the fight was about, though. Do you know who won the fight? It didn't, or was it, it... No, they, they didn't. They just got into a scuffle. And security pulled them apart or whatever. <laughs> but I'm thinking, you know, to fight somebody, wouldn't you pick a guy like more like my size instead of Brody size? But and he said, well, you know, if you're going to do something, do it with the biggest guy they got there. And I don't know if that got him started. It may have even got him started because I didn't ever really find out his history. How did he get started? I believe he was noticed because he was. He, he wasn't on screen. Well, from but fighting, on... Bro- fighting Brody might have been a good way to get noticed. <laughs> well, I think, uh, I don't know if it was a wrestler who spotted him on the set of Over the Top, you know, the arm wrestling film with uh, yeah. Sylvester Stallone. He was he was tending bar, like maybe round the corner. And I think a wrestler spotted him there and said, maybe you should get into this business. And I believe they gave the example of, well, Bam Bam Bigelow's one year in the business and he's made a million dollars. And then, then all of a sudden he trains and uh, gets into yeah. the business himself. Well, see, the thing about some of these guys, Bam Bam Bigelow especially, he got the business. He got it. You know, some big guys never got it. Godfather got it. But some big guy just never quite get it. And if anybody doesn't understand about get it, that means, well, when your guy tells you not to knock him out, I wouldn't knock him out because a lot of big guys are – they have that big man mentality. And when it comes time to do something, they you know, because if the guy's smaller, they think it makes them look bad. Actually, they, they think about it too much. 